What's up, God? I'm Ashley Gillard. I have medium and clairvoyant abilities. I use my abilities to help you manifest your best life. This is a video for the sign of cancer. It is a general reading. If you resonate with this, awesome. If you need more information, the link is in my description for you to schedule a private reading. If you do not resonate with this and you still want more information, the link is in my bio uh, description box <laughs> to schedule a private reading. This is for the sign of cancer, the lovely, 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 lovely sign of cancer. And the theme of this reading is follow your passion. Why? Because you have the favor of God upon you. I like to start with that. With the number of 99, when I see number 99 in my life, the geometrical value, uh, well, a geometrical value um, of the number 99 or words that connect with number 99 geometrical wise is the favor of God. You have the favor of God upon you. So it's time for you to use that favor of God to manifest your passion and your dreams in the world. The first card you got is 10 of pentacles. This is completion. In fact, you got 10 three times with the 10. Um, actually, you have the 10 of wands underneath the favor of God cards. You have the princess of cups, which aligns with Malkut, which could be the 10th um, Sephiroth if you, you know, if you count it. But it's basically saying that you have the favor of God upon you and it's time for you to use your favor to manifest your dreams. Um, it's time for you to be complete. The number 10 is the number of order completion. It's time for you to be fulfilled, to enter a next phase, to be complete, to live out your dreams, to manifest your dreams, to manifest your passions. Um, but the issue that you're having is you're oppressed. You have a poverty mindset. Um, you're oppressing yourself. Your thoughts, you have oppressed yourself. You are doing the work of the opposition on yourself. You know, sometimes we are the opposition in our life, you know. I was just writing about the art of war, war in my Master Manifest Toolkit that I'm going to be releasing this week. And I explained that sometimes you're the manifestor. You are the, I'm sorry, oppressor in your life. Why? Negative thoughts. You allow these negative thoughts in your head. You, Your behaviors are limiting your potential and you're doing this to yourself or you're allowing the opposition to use you against you. Um, but it's time to get out of that. And the way that you get out of that is get rid of this poverty mindset. Get rid of this mindset of lack. Focus on what you have and what and you have your passion. You have your dream. You have it. If, if you have it in idea form, that means it comes from God and it can be manifested in material where all it needs is you to act upon it and overcome obstacles and to be consistent and to show up for yourself every day. Show up for your dreams every day as you show up for somebody else's. Show up for your dreams every day. Show up for your passion every day. Show up for your heart every day until it is manifested in material form and then you grow it. Um, Yeah, with the lust, lust card and the pleasure card. Look at this. This is saying, follow your passion. So in order to overcome this obstacle, the passion, your passion is the way. Look how lustful they are. Looks very interesting, huh? Very passionate. Follow your passion. Follow your passion. What If you don't know what your passion is, it's what brings you pleasure. What work, what work brings you pleasure? What action brings you pleasure? What hobby brings you pleasure? What can you turn into a business? Or whatever, whatever it is that you do, hobby, business, work, whatever it is, follow your passion, follow what brings you pleasure, and that will bring you to a state of completion, bring you to a state of fulfillment, and it may even bring you wealth. Look at this. That says wealth. Wealth. Ooh, child, I need my nails done again. I just got them done. Anyway, it is. it brings you wealth. It brings you happiness. It brings you fulfillment. It brings you completion. I hope this helps cancer if you would like a private reading click the link below peace